a fucking moment for me is every morning because I suffer from anxiety. So every morning I wake up, it's automatically a fuck. It's like it's like happening already. I wake up, my anxiety is through the roof. I don't believe in pharmaceutical drugs, so I'm just sitting there like going through this shit, just naturally raw, organically, and and still having to walk outside and smile and go to the studio and work, or stop for photos and take pictures with fans and you know hold it together while inside I'm like I'm melting, right? Like a melting pot. <laughs> like I guess that's that New York and that's another thing too. That's that New York in me, like. I think I do pretty well at, at holding shit together when really I should be in crumbles in a fucking corner somewhere bawling my eyes out. <laughs> Another fucking moment, I think, was my childhood. You know what I mean? My mother was on drugs. My father serving life in prison. I think I took a lot of the negatives from my childhood and, and put it all into music at the age of seven. I felt like if I couldn't talk to anybody else about how I was watching my mother do drugs or my father just being the, the nigga he is, I had to write it down. And I think at that age, that just spawned something. Like, I was a fucking legend at seven dealing with that shit. Like, <laughs> a lot of fucking moments, but every day is a fucking moment, fucking moment with my, with my mental health, so. You know what's so crazy is I get a, I get a ton of, of DMs, emails, all types of things from, from kids. Like, I'm talking about young kids, like 10. Some of them who are struggling with their identity as far as coming out the closet. Some of them are, who are struggling with mental health and who ask me how do I just live life on a day-to-day -day basis. And sometimes I don't really have the answer for that because it took a very long time for me to even just, for me to even just feel like I could be okay with waking up. Because sometimes with, with mental health and anxiety and depression, there's moments I felt like, I, for what? Like, why am I waking up? Like, why why was I deemed with this fucking disease and I'm an artist and I have to, you know what I mean? Like, it's just a lot to deal with, but at the same time, I think it's also a gift that I was given outside of my music to be honest about it, to speak on it, to rap about it, to not be ashamed and to, to potentially help somebody not go down the path of suicide. I think it needs to be spoken about more especially in the black and brown community. I'm glad that it's starting to happen. Um, I'm glad that men are starting to come more forward, young black men, women, young black women, brown women. And it's something that's, that's, that's at the round table and it needs to continue to be that and we can save a lot of kids. I definitely got some friends who are, who are doing nine to five jobs and they regret every day <laughs> waking up and have a lot of resentment towards, you know, people around them because they didn't follow their dreams. Um, I think, at any age, when you do find something that you love, um, I feel like you definitely have to put everything that you have into it. And if it's music, for me personally, I don't think having a nine to five in music would have ever mixed. So unfortunately, you know, I turned to the streets to hustle, to make money, to pay for studio time, you know, to do whatever I had to do as far as my music career. I'm not saying that it's, it's a good thing, I'm not glorifying it, but you know, I had to do what I had to do to get to where I am now. I had to believe in myself first before anybody else did. And I think a lot of people get that fucked up when their families like, you know, don't don't really push them to be the best the best version of them. And and when it is that type of situation, that's when it needs to be a fuck it, a fucking moment. Like, aha, yeah, fuck y'all, family or not. Like, this is something I wanna do for the rest of my life and I believe in and I know I'm good at. You gotta go 110%, you feel me? Like, you, you'll, you'll hate yourself if you don't.